Hello everybody, welcome back to Golden Dragon Games. I'm your host Rocky2815, but please just call me Rocky. Welcome to the Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Trainer Brandon Cosplay Update Numero 1. I just talk so extremely quickly, I just lost it. I've lost the plot. I've lost me marbles, you could say. But anyway, let's go on with the video. So, I mentioned I was doing a cosplay ages ago of this character, I do believe, but I finally decided to stop being lazy and just sitting down and actually show you the cosplay book. So, shall we have a look inside? So obviously, we got who the character is, and I've totally butchered the word sapphire just here, and of course it needs to be ready for the 21st of this month. Now, you might be saying, how am I going to do different elements of this? Originally, I was going to make the hat, as you can see here, but I've got the hat on order from Bad Wolf Cosplay over in America on a website called Etsy, well that's how me and Brick Daddy pronounce it, I don't know how to actually pronounce it, so, but um, we decided to buy the hat, actually, off Bad Wolf Cosplayer, and also if you're looking for stuff, uh, Bad Wolf Cosplayer has got other stuff, because there were four different versions of the hat, there was the original Ruby and Sapphire, you know, the 16-bit game, or was it 8-bit, I can't remember. Um, then there was the Emerald version, then there was the Manga version, and then there was the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire version. And I actually looked online and nobody has done the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, well, I call it, rather than a version, incarnation of Pokemon Trainer Brandon. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so nobody's done... Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire version cosplay, so I'm very pleased to be attempting this, uh, attempting, because this is my first ever proper cosplay. Backpack, I have used a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles green shell backpack, and, uh, well, it's going to be the base, and then I've got some more pictures over here, reference, another picture here. I'm just flicking through this quickly so I can actually show you the actual stuff I've got. Um, for accessories, I looked at this Pokemon belt, but then I looked back on the character. He doesn't have a belt, but the Pokeballs you can buy separately. So I'm going to get one of those probably. T-shirts. Basically two shirts. I'm going to have to try and read it like this. Two shirts. One inside other. Tacked shoulders, armpits, and bottom sides, so they don't move around, causing unwanted wrinkles, I think that says. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, actually, I had a bit of disaster with it. Um, basically, I was doing it, and I was using somebody else's sewing machine, and... Because it's, you know, inside another shirt, I'm only meant to go through two layers, but I went through four layers, and I spent all morning unpicking it. It took ages, ugh. Plus, I just died on the shorts, but I realised I'm missing grey material for those um, shorts. Uh, this isn't a very good page. Um, the final piece, this is where I'm going to put a picture of me in, well, the final piece, so... That little part's done. Here is the Mew Ninja Turtle green backpack shell. £26 for it. I cut one strap off, so here and here. So I'll drag the strap over so I'll wear it like that, which is good. Pardon me, I think I need just burp. And then, material wise for the back, I have got. 
oop, black material, white material, and I'll actually tell you the prices in case you want to. Now, for anybody who lives here in the United Kingdom, if you live in an area called Bristol, um, I can't remember the name of the shop because Brick Daddy picked these materials up for me. Um, but it's a very good sort of craft shop, um, possibly near the museum or something. So the white material, £2.50. And this is quite a lot because, you know, I might mess up. Then I got two different type of yellow materials because, like I said, Brick Daddy went and got these for me. Uh, 50 centimetres, both of these. 70p each, so I got a yellow and a more orange. Yeah, this is orange and this is yellow. And he accidentally picked up orange as well. So, but never mind. Um, and basically, I needed some. Sp I was going to use super glue, but the person in the shop told Brick Daddy, who told me that it might sort of stain a bit through, and plus this is sort of like a foam PVC backpack, so the glue I'll be using is this, some special fabric glue for all fabric and craft projects, two-way uh, application, spot and spread, Dry, clear, fast, strong, safe, non-toxic, non-clogging. And this was £1.70. And I'll see actually how much the black material was, because I told you how much the other stuff was. And the black material seems to have no price left on it. So, it's that. But also... If, for the people who have played through Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire, um, they know of the Mega, I think it's called a Bangle or Bracelet or whatever, um, the closest thing I could get to it was this. I've forgotten the name of the make of the toy, but anyway, this is the Pokemon X and Y Mega Ring toy. So, you just clip it on like that if you got a smaller wrist you got this little strap here and then like so and it comes with a couple of mega stones it comes with Gyaradosite, Gengarite, Wallwyite, uh, Pinsarite, God of White, a Bomb Snowite Ampharosite and Megachamite. So I will get the Gyaradosite out and demonstrate to you how it works. So, like this, you don't have to go like this, but this is what I see in the games. So, like in the games, you'll go like this, but the toy, it's got these little holes on. Same thing here. So, one, two, I'm totally messing this up. So yeah, that's how it works. And that's the basics of the toy as well. Oh, my camera's really running low on power, so... And also it's starting to rain. But also, you can activate, I think, without the Megastone. Yep. You can activate even without the Megastone, which is quite good. So it looks more like the game. So you could go like this, but secretly use this finger to press in to do that. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching this cosplay first update video. I'm doing this very haphazardly and quickly because the camera's run out of power and I've got food in the oven, so I need to go and check on that. So thank you everybody for watching, remember to give this video a like, a favourite, a share it, a 
thumbs up, which is the same as a like. Comment down below what you think. And also, subscribe for more awesome video content. And remember to follow me on Twitter and social medias down in the description. Thank you everybody for watching once more. Remember, until next time, stay golden, stay frosty, and bye and Mega Evolve.